Okay, let's take a look at how to uh, use the uh, limit scan correctly and uh, make sure that we have the correct zip code in there so that our thresholds will be right where we need them to be. So I just have it set up on a 1002 dish right now. Um, right here from the run screen, you can see the zip code button. So if I just hit zip there, then what I'll need to do is just check here and ensure that my zip code actually is in there. If it's not, then it's already defaulted to, I can just type in if I wanted to uh, type in a different uh, zip code here. I can just type it in real quick. It's going to find it for me and bring it up. So wherever that zip code is, it's actually giving me settings that I can use for my dish. And we actually have the zip code plugged into the Super Buddy. So I would exit from here. Now, if I already have that done, I don't have to do that every time. I just need to do that if I go into a new zip code to work in. So we just want to ensure before we go to run the limit scan that we have that correct zip code in there. Uh, once we're re done with that, we can just, of course, go to menu, go to limit scan, and we actually need to hit the edit key in order to uh, access the button that you see right here in the top right that says use zip. So once I go to that and I press it, you'll actually see that it sometimes will change depending on the zip code, but the actual limit values will plug in for that zip code. So again, I just go to the edit button, then I hit the use zip. If I have the correct zip code punched in, it will then change these values to match the zip code that I'm in. Once I'm done, I just hit the done key, and now I can run my limit scan as normal, and I'm using the zip codes uh, for, or excuse me, using the thresholds for that zip code. Um, this will work even if you have an international dish and you want to use the 118.7 instead of trying to man manually plug in. Uh, the thresholds, you can just use the use zip feature and make sure your system is set to the 500 plus or 1000 plus and you'll actually have the thresholds for that as well. So let's just recap. Whenever we want to uh, actually use the limit scan, we want to make sure that our thresholds are at the correct minimums. To do that, we need to go and put in the correct zip code, which we looked at how to do that at the beginning of the video. Once we know we have the correct zip code in there, when we go to the limit scan screen, we'll go to the edit menu and actually hit the use zip button most likely we'll see the requirements change or those thresholds change and from then on as long as we're in that zip code we know we're using the correct feature and the correct threshold for the limit scan function the last thing that you need to make sure to do continually is keep your limit scan or excuse me keep your superset buddy updated so that uh, you know you have the most up-to-date dish limits that have been sent to applied instruments so that's it, and that's how to run your limit scan and know that you have the actual correct values in place.